In the 1920s, Banting and Best used an extract from bovine or cow pancreas to resolve the symptoms in a diabetic dog. Later, they used a more purified version of the bovine pancreatic extract to treat a 14-year-old boy with type 1 diabetes that allowed him to live for another 13 years. In the early part of the 20th century, bovine insulin was used to treat individuals with type 1 diabetes. Although human and bovine insulin molecules are almost identical in their overall shape and function, the minor differences at three locations in the protein caused individuals to mount an immune response over time. This, in turn, prompted development of humulin, the first genetically engineered therapeutic agent. Since insulin is critical for metabolism and cell survival, minor variations of amino acids at specific locations can lead to a variety of diseases. The insulin gene has various close relatives in the human genome. While the insulin protein plays a key role in metabolism, the related insulin-like growth factor plays a role in cell growth. Another group of related proteins called relaxins are important for regulating tissue remodeling during pregnancy and cancer. All these proteins have a signal and propeptide. While many of the amino acids in the mature protein are different, the cysteines and disulfide binding patterns are conserved. The existence of these insulin-like genes in the genome suggests evolution by gene duplication. Did you know that sequences of various insulin and insulin-like proteins have been identified in many of the genomes sequenced since 2000? So besides humans, cows, pigs, and dogs, insulin-like sequences have been found in other vertebrates like fish, reptiles, and birds. The fish-hunting cone snail insulin is very similar to fish insulin, while the viral insulin-like proteins can bind to rat and human cell receptors and may play a role in our health and disease. While insulin family proteins play key roles in vertebrates, insulin-like proteins in invertebrates and viruses are presenting new questions about the evolution of this gene.